Nature Background Replacement has a very wide range of application in real life. In many action movies, actors are shot in green scenes, and the required background is synthesized when editing. In fact, changing the background of a picture is very simple. The main idea is to identify the background through the alpha channel. This video will teach you how to change the picture background in MATLAB by using alpha channel. Before introducing how to change the background of a picture, I would like to talk about the alpha channel first. Alpha channel is a channel that represents the transparency of a picture. Different from other channels in image storage, the alpha channel only contains 0 and 1. If all bits in alpha channel are 0, the picture is transparent. Notice that not all picture files have an alpha channel. For example, JPEG file don't have an alpha channel. In this tutorial, we're going to use PNG file with transparent background. The first thing we want to do is to get the alpha channel from the picture. And let's see how the alpha channel looks like. So the picture on the left is our original image and the picture on the right hand side is the alpha channel of this image. And now you can see in the alpha channel, place with transparent background is all dark. Now let's import our background image. And this picture is our background. If we want to change the background of an image, it would be better if our background and the original picture has the same size. If it's not, let's change the size of background. After change the size, let's see how our background looks like. And this picture is how our background looks like right now. So let's combine the original image and the background together. Because alpha channel is a 2D array with the same size as the original image, while our extra PNG file, our 3D array in MATLAB, it's very essential to repeat our alpha channel three times so multiply of image can work. That's why we are using refmat here and we put three here. Um, it means to repeat our alpha channel three times. And now let's see what we get by combining these two images together. So this one is our new image. It's generated by the alpha channel of the original image and combine with the background. So you can see the place where it was transparent now is filled by the background and they are combined together. So in this video, we talked about what alpha channel is and how to change the image background by using an alpha channel. It's very important skill if you are interested in pro graphic processing and widely used in real life. Hope this video is helpful.